Today you're going to learn how to resize video specifically for YouTube Shorts, TikTok, or Instagram Reels in Adobe Premiere Pro. Converting video from horizontal to portrait style is super easy and can be done in less than a minute. I'll show you two different ways to do this, one that zooms in and crops the sides just like this, and another that maintains the aspect ratio and blurs the background. Anyway, let's get right to it. Cineguac. As you can see, I already have two video clips on my timeline. One of me standing on the beach, and another of this little dance party. Let's head over to Project Bin, and let's right-click on the sequence. Not the video clips, the sequence. And go down to Sequence Settings. This little window will pop up, and if we go up here to Frame Size, you'll see the video was shot in 4K resolution, which has a dimension of 3840 by 2160. Now, if you shot this in HD, this would appear as 1920 by 1080. Either way, what we want to do is flip these numbers. So let's just go over here to Horizontal and change this to 2160. And then go over here to Vertical and change this to 3840. Once again, if your video was shot in HD and the numbers appear to you as 1920 and 1080, then what you're going to do is switch the numbers to 1080 and 1920. Same principle. After we've changed these numbers, let's hit OK. It's going to give us a little warning here that we're changing the dimensions, and we can just go ahead and hit OK. So now you'll see our playback monitor has changed to this vertical style, just like the shape of your phone but the video inside has remained the same. So what we want to do is resize the video so that it fills the entire frame. Let's go to our first clip, and with that selected, let's head up to Effect Controls, Motion, and here we can adjust the scale until it fills the entire frame. And if we want, we can adjust the X and Y coordinates just so that it's perfectly centered. That looks pretty good. And we can just repeat this with the second clip. So let's make sure the second clip is selected, and adjust the scale and position until it looks good to you. And that is how you resize video for TikTok, Instagram Reels, or YouTube Shorts. Now I'll show you how to achieve this style so that we maintain the full aspect ratio of the video and have this blurry background image. As you can see, we have the exact same clips as before. So let's just quickly repeat the process from before. Right click our sequence, flip these numbers so that it says 2160 by 3840, hit OK, and then OK. With your first clip selected, head up to Effect Controls, and let's lower the scale so that the entire frame can be seen in our playback monitor. Right here, around 58 looks pretty good. Next, let's go down to our clip and hold down the Option or Alt button on your keyboard, click, and drag to the video layer above. This will duplicate the video clip. So now, with the bottom layer selected, let's move up to Effect Controls and increase the scale so that the image takes up the entire frame. And we can adjust the position. Now all we have to do is blur this background image. So let's go to Effects and search for Gaussian Blur. And we can drag the Gaussian Blur effect directly onto our bottom video layer. With that still selected, let's go up to Effect Controls, scroll down to the Gaussian Blur settings, and let's just increase the blurriness to a point that looks good to you. Play that all back, and there you have it. We can just repeat this exact same thing with our second clip. Adjust the scale, duplicate the clip, adjust the scale and position of the bottom layer, and then blur the background. Lastly, here's how you export your video with these new dimensions. Once you've completed your video, all you have to do is go to File, Export, Media, and then go to Video, and simply just click on Match Source. This will automatically match all the same dimensions and specifications of your sequence. Hit export, and you're done. When you upload this video to YouTube, assuming it's less than 60 seconds, YouTube will automatically recognize these dimensions as a YouTube short. 
Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. As always, I pour a lot of time and effort into making these videos. So show me some love, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.